This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Um, just been confirmed, George Groves is going to make his return to the ring. Uh, catch weight. <laughs> I'm ready. You're ready. Okay, um, just been confirmed that the much anticipated fight between over the last few weeks, shall we say, because it wasn't a reality before, but now it is a reality. Chris Eubank Jr., your uh, former opponent, and Connor Ben. Um, yeah, it's just been confirmed now. What, what's your initial thoughts on this, mate? Uh, it's, uh, I mean, this one of them fights is going to be fascinating. It's going to peop, you know, people's going to drop drop a lot of interest because they're two names. Conor Ben's on a, a great run at the moment. Um, he's been putting great performances, and then just like the um, the excitement around him is that sort of you know never been better. Uh, and Newbank, uh, who's been a big name for, for quite a while now, um, it's bizarre. It's, I've got to say, it's, it's bizarre. They're two. They're totally different ways. Totally different sizes. You would never think that this fight could get made, but um, I'm sure it has taken a long time to get made. I don't know the ins and outs of details yet, uh, Coogan, but there'll be, uh, I think it's at some catch weight and there might be some rehydration clauses and stuff like that, which will ultimately play into uh, speculation on how this fight's going to go. It's going to be very difficult to predict in that respect. But if, it's n if there is no, like, uh, no magic and it is what it is, I think... I, I mean, I've got to be honest, I think uh, it's a step too far for, for Conor Ben. Not, definitely not the right fight for him right now because he's on such a great run and he is uh, two weight division smaller than Eubank. And Eubank has competed at, at super middleweight uh, and held his own. So I think it's uh, a bit bizarre, but I can see why, I can, well, I can kind of see why, why, why it's happening. I can see certainly why Eubank is, was very keen for it, why he was calling him out right at the start. I think we've seen kind of situations before where we've seen kind of our UK fighters jump into fights with that kind of weight difference, etc. And I think sometimes we get carried away with kind of the names on, on the sheet rather than kind of the reality around the weights. Um, me and you kind of were speaking off camera. There. We spoke about uh, Kel Brook and, and Golovkin, etc. But for this, you, you think that, that that situation might not play too well for Connor possibly? Well, no. You look at look at history. It, it doesn't it doesn't play well. It would be a massive upset, I think, if Conor Ben would be a huge underdog going into this fight. Um, slight difference being that, like, uh, there was a, there was a TV slot vacant when the Golovkin Brook fight was made. Obviously, it was Eubank who was supposed to, supposed to fight Golovkin at middleweight. Um, he he withdrew, couldn't get the the paperwork right, and then um, Kel Brook jumped at the chance and went in. But similar to uh, Connor Ben Kelbrook was unbeaten, right, you know, right, right, um, the height of his game. Uh, it was a wrong fight for him. Um, he ended up getting a serious injury and a, and a major setback. So hindsight's a wonderful thing. You can say, oh, well, that, that was obvious, but um, you know, I, I, I just think it's um, commercially a, a great fight. Um, it'll put it will raise awareness for, for both for both fires. I'm sure the money will be reflective of that. But at the same time, um, it definitely benefits uh, Eubank Jr. a lot more than than Conor Ben. Eubank Jr. being a more seasoned fighter and a naturally much bigger fighter. Um, you know, he's a yeah. Why does this fight, aside from kind of any financial aspect, which is I know it's a big thing, but I'm saying. Why does this fight benefit Chris Eubank to take now when Chris Eubank is still chasing a world title fight? Honest, honest answer? Yeah. Uh, financial, financial. I can imagine he's uh, going to earn more money fighting uh, Conor Ben, who's two weight divisions smaller than him, than he will challenge yeah. him for a world title True. fight, yeah. and it'll be a much easier fight. He'll be supremely confident of it. His dad, who's... I don't know if he still is advising him, but he's been a, a big um, influence on on his career. We'll no doubt see this as a as, as a good fight for him. And there's that needle there. Um, no doubt it's in it's, it's in their, their DNA. Both fighters, especially especially Connor, the way he's, you know, he wears his heart on his sleeve. Everything you sort of you see, you 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 believe the things he says. You believe, and you can imagine like he wants to avenge his dad for the for, for the fights that he had with with uh, Eubank Jr's dad. So there may be that element to it. It might add, 
add a bit of spice. It definitely adds to the excitement of, of, of a build-up. Um, but for me, yeah, I mean, a, a, a bizarre, bizarre fight uh, to, to, for, for, for Conor Ben right now. Um, but who knows, you know, it might, um, as I say, ben, Ben's in great form. And if, if Eubank has to cut weight, uh, as long as, you know, got, got, uh, God forbid there's no um, serious injuries to come out of it, that was certainly put him at a major disadvantage if he's not allowed to rehydrate or whatnot or he has to crash or weight or get really tight because he's, he's tight at middleweight you know he spent he spent a couple of years up at super middleweight and grew into the into the frame and then decided you know he couldn't quite couldn't quite get there I believe at super middleweight so he's come back down to middleweight to, to get even lighter you know uh, <laughs> that'd be tough uh, just finally kind of over the last 10 years we've seen some great British boxing rivalries you were involved in the majority of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you were, you were. The De Gaulle's, the, the Frotches, etc. But, I mean, could this develop into something? Do you think that this could, aside from the obvious of kind of the history of the families, could this be one of them kind of rivalries and maybe we see a couple of fights, possibly? I know what you're saying, you're talking about the, kind of the weight situation, but could this be the start of one of these famous British boxing rivalries? It, it could do, it could do if the fight lives up to it. But for me, for that to really happen and people to really sort of take note of it and it to be remembered in history, you need Conor Ben to grow into a, a middleweight stature, you know. And he might thicken out. Um, he might have that body type that, that does that. You know, he looks he looks a lot bigger than he was when he first turned over. But that's obvious. He, he turned pro when he was really young and now he's in his mid-20s and um, he's, a, he's a full-grown man. Um, but I, th I think for, for it to be one of them sort of rivalries, you know, you needs to be a lot more on the line. It needs to be world titles, and it needs uh, they need to be a little bit closer in in size. So uh, possibly, possibly, who knows? Who knows? George Groves, thank you very much for talking to uh, IFL TV. My dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness App and find your greatness within.